Arrgh. <laughs> Grab your Métis and sail on down to the Hampton Blackbeard Pirate Festival, back after a two-year hiatus due to the pandemic. I'm known as uh, Constable Heartless. I have no heart. If I would have had a heart, it would have been broken. That's Constable Heartless, who's been the festival's captain for nearly 10 years, committed to keeping the history of Hampton alive. A good portion of what you might find or think about in, let's say, places like Jamestown, Yorktown, Colonia, Williamsburg, uh, it actually happened here. Even though most of the time a pirate would end up in one of these, they were incredibly vital to the area and played a big role in creating the country that we now call home. Well, we were like the Walmart of the 18th century, you know. We were able to provide the colonists with goods and services that they desperately needed. But this isn't your typical Walmart. The historical encampment sells unique items from the 18th century, not to mention the several other vendors lined up along Eaton Street. With so many pirate festivals across the country, would you say Hamptons is one of the best ones? I would say it's the best. Here is an event that is truly family and children friendly. Learning how to tie rope and navigate the stars are just a few ways that kids can earn their sea legs this weekend. A lot of children dream of being a pirate. But don't worry parents, Robin McCormick with the city of Hampton says, be sure to bring your tankards. There'll be a lot of live music. There will be um, beer sales. And while you're down here, consider visiting some of downtown Hampton's many shops and restaurants. Like Constable Heartless, small business owners say they've waited two years to collect the booty. We're excited to have everybody out again. We're excited for the business, new people to come in. And for a full list of all the events happening this weekend, you can visit our website, WTKR.com. In Hampton, Penny Commit, News 3.